I've always had an interest in the environment and especially nature and then I took a degree at university in zoology and it's kind of moved on from there really. My initial job when I left university, it was on the railways but I was in procurement and then one day I spoke to my boss and I just said I want to use my degree in zoology and undertake environmental work so he said yeah I know the head of environment for the company I'll have a word with him and then three months later I was working as an environmental advisor. A normal day could be out undertaking site surveys, mitigation for protected species such as what we have here today with badgers, report writing, raising awareness for staff. It's a very varied day-to-day -day job. We're already in a big biodiversity crisis and the railway is one of the biggest landowners in the country. So if you don't manage that environment, that habitat, and be sympathetic to nature, it's just going to impact that even more so. And not only that, we have a statutory obligations to undertake the works with as much sympathy as we have to the environment, because if you get things wrong, people can end up in court and end up in jail and companies can get large fines. One of the things I really like on the railway is the varied nature of a large linear environment. I went out of the railway for a couple of years and still undertaking environmental and ecology work, but I actually found it really boring because you're on a static site and it's just the same site day in, day out, whereas the railway, it's so varied. You've got 20,000 miles of infrastructure, so one day is never the same, and that's what I really enjoy. I'd say get into it, it's great. Get into the railway and get into environmental management and ecology.